in the world of fragrance, making you smell delicious and offending you at the same time may be considered especially heinous. In New York City, a gorgeous Cubano and his elite squad of ball sprayers will seek out these colognes and investigate them. This is his story. Bitch. Billy's got a gun. Is it Billy's got a gun? Jimmy's got Susie? Somebody's got a motherfucking gun. I don't know who's getting shot, but somebody got a gun. I don't know lyrics just like I don't know notes. Don't fucking judge me. But the fragrance that I'm going to be talking about today is from the house of Juliet has a gun. I'm sure about that. And this is not really a first impressions. We're going to call this a first full day's wear. So let's roll my motherfucking music so I can give you my impressions on this. Kind of, sort of blind buy? Risky? Was it? Bless you, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. Yeah, we're gonna be talking about a particular fragrance that a few people have reviewed already. And you know me, I'm always late, aka tardy to the party. And I got none other than Juliet has a gun, Moscow Mule. Now this is kind of sort of a blind buy. I did smell it in a store. I think it was called CO Bigelow downtown somewhere. I didn't smell it and I did enjoy it for the first couple of minutes that I had it on, but I vaguely remember it. So I decided, let me just pull the trigger and buy a whole fucking bottle. Why not? Because I'm fucking stupid. Now I am a person who likes alcohol every now and then, more like every day. Moscow Mule is actually a cocktail that I do enjoy outside of whiskey. Although they can make a Moscow Mule with whiskey, you can do anything with whiskey. Put it on some fucking cornet flakes in the morning, brush your for whatever you want to do with it. Now for me, Moscow Mule definitely has that boozy vodka ginger-ish opening that does remind me of the cocktail. It definitely has a nice ginger note in here. Not as prominent as I would like it. With Moscow Mules, the ginger beer that you use usually is really effervescent and spicy as ginger is. And this one has more of a strong vodka and bergamot citrusy kind of opening. There is ginger notes up in this bitch, but it isn't as spicy and doesn't give me a little ting like the actual Moscow Mule would. It doesn't have much of the effervescent quality. It has a little bit of it. It just lacks on certain things. I think the mark was missed slightly, especially on the performance factor where I legit got like three hours of burn. And that's because the first opening is a little sharp and obnoxious and pungent in the face like an alcoholic Tito or vodka shot. And then it just mellows down into something wearable and nice but just dissipates into nothing. You know, kind of like my soul. I think this is a quite enjoyable fragrance and for those motherfuckers who like to layer shit, maybe if you throw some molecule something on top of this to boost up its erectile dysfunction or performance anxiety that it has, a little Cialis spray, maybe it will enhance the performance on this fragrance. You know, this was kind of sort of a blind buy and I pulled the trigger on something that isn't inexpensive and you know, I got kind of bit in the ass, but sometimes we take some L's. It is an enjoyable fragrance. I do like it. Is it a boss? sprayer no i think it's lacking on certain things the mark was missed a little bit and it's not as awesome as i really wanted it to be so you know we take l's i'm the king of blind buying so shit happens to me on the regular it is what it is we're gonna see how long it lasts in my collection i'm gonna wear it a few more times see if it knocks me out of my funk but if it doesn't it's gonna go right into the ebay bin I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart and these unsprayed, slightly disappointed, non-alcoholic Moscow mule nuts. Shout out to the Ruskies up in Moscow. Juliet has a gun. Make it, you know, you missed it a little bit. Step it up. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is. It's the biggest in the fucking game. Smooches. For the fly gun holder, money folder, Mona roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough rugger than Broadway, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse sweet on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>